Hello everyone, this is Cyborg Mammoth, and today I'm making a video about this wall you see behind me. I bet you're thinking, well that looks like a pretty normal wall except for the fact that there's a huge hole over there, but that's beside the point. This wall is not normal. Of course, when I build a wall, it's either full of redstone or it's not. This one might or might be either. So, okay, so... I have a little secret to show you. If I take this redstone torch and I place it right here, we get a little opening. And then you can have secret storage. And then if I go and place it again, that secret opening will close. So, now it's time to show you the redstone. Actually, let me close this. Okay, this is the redstone. And you'd think it'd be, a, you might think it'd be a little bit bigger, but no, this is... This is what it is. So, basically what we have right here is we have a block update detector. And what is happening is, or these both these pistons are block update detectors. So, they detect uh, me placing the redstone torch right here, which is two or less, ah, two or less blocks away from this piston. So, it activates this one, or this piston, and it pushes out. But at the same time, it updates this piston, which pushes out, but when this piston pushes out, it moves a block, which um, uh, cuts off the um, current, which turns it into a, uh, ugh, which keeps it from being a block update detector, and um, basically makes this retract, and then makes itself retract, which turns it back on, but it doesn't open and close a bunch of times. So, uh, this is what I'm going to be um, teaching you guys how to build. It's a... Um, I don't know, what do I call it? A torch key? I don't know. But then, um, what I have over here is I just have a little 1x2 door, which you can't see very well, but it's there. Here are the four pistons. Here are these two pistons. Yeah. Um, okay. Uh, basically what I did is I turn, I put this into a T flip flop. So every time this gives an output, um, this um, either opens or closes, it changes to whatever it's not at the moment. So at the moment, it's open. So if I put the torch, it's not closed, so it closes. I hope that, I hope that makes sense. I really hope it makes sense. So, then I guess I'll get on with the tutorial. What you're going to need is obviously you're going to need torches. You're going to need a building block. You're going to need redstone repeaters, ugh, redstone repeaters, redstone dust, and some sticky pistons. Now, I guess I'll build this right back here. So, this design is completely flush with the wall, that's a good thing. So you can build this into your base, and then, yeah, and then people can't be like, Hey, let's go into a storage and steal the stuff because they don't know how to get in. So, um, what you want is you want to build this wall and you place a sticky piston like this so that it's facing out. So this can be either this block level or at this block level, but I'm going to build it right, oops, right here. So you're going to um, do that and this block right here is where you're going to place your torch when the whole thing is done. So then you're going to place a sticky piston on the back of it with a block on it. And underneath that block you're going to put a redstone torch and a block right here with a repeater coming out into another block that has a torch on it. And then if you put dust underneath this torch, this is where your output's going to come from. Or at least that's where I drew my output from. So that's, that's your output. Then you're going to put blocks like so. And then run redstone dust all the way back down. So that's that's it. That's all that happens. Um, because now I'm gonna explain or no, I'm gonna show you guys what have. See, it completely works. Okay, now I'm gonna explain how it works real quick. So I sorted it, but what happens is this is a block update detector, which you guys may not really understand what that is. But what happens is. This should not be powering this, but it sort of is, and so, but this doesn't activate until it gets a block update. Here's another block update, um, 
But see, if I place a block out here, it doesn't work. But if um, I were to place a torch out here, that means um, the torch gives it a redstone update or something. I don't know. But so you either put a block within one block of one of the pistons, or you would put a torch within two blocks. See, it can do that. Which, that's just going to keep that piston on, but it'll still work if you do it like this. Um, so, that's essentially how it works. When this extends, it cuts off the redstone signal, so it turns the whole thing off. And then when it comes back, it turns it back on. But, since this shouldn't be powering those, um, they don't extend again. Sometimes, when I try to make a block update detector, I totally mess up. And this piston, or one of these pistons, would just go back and forth. So, so that's that's all you have to do. So remember, this is your output. You can run this into your T flip flop or in your redstone door or something. So, this has been Cyborg Mammoth, and you just learned how to make a. What am I calling this? Oh yeah, you just learned how to make a redstone torch key.